Hi my wonderful junior school artists, I have missed you guys so much over the holidays but I am so excited to get started on doing some art with you again, alright? Now, if you listen carefully, you might be able to hear a chainsaw. That's because my name is doing chainsawing but that's not going to stop us from doing some art today, okay? Now, this is what we're going to be creating. I don't know if you were aware but last week it was Earth Day. It's a day that all around the world we celebrate the awesome things our planet Earth does and we try and share the message about recycling and keeping it clean and doing the best we can to look after our planet. Now I know we've all been stuck inside lately and I think now more than ever we can appreciate how awesome our planet is and how well it looks after us. And God made us such a beautiful home so I thought it could be a really great way to start the term by celebrating planet Earth and all of the amazing things that are on the planet okay so this is what we're going to be creating i call it a um, hug the earth selfie this is me in case you didn't notice and you'll be drawing yourself up in this corner giving the earth a little hug with a message on the bottom and some really cool pop-up hands that are giving the earth a hug so you can get as creative as you like and i'm going to show you how to do this it's really easy i promise let's have some fun so what you're going to need is you're going to need a plate, a small one that'll fit on your piece of paper, and a cup. We're using these to draw around the edges for our face and for our planet Earth. You're also going to need a pencil. You're going to need a marker of some form. If you have one, you'll also need some glue, a pair of scissors, and something to color in with. I am going to be using oil pastels, but you can use pencils or textures, whatever you have at home. So. Let's get started. Step one, we take our plate and we put it in the center of our piece of paper. Take a pencil, don't use your marker yet, and all you do is trace around the outside. So you get a nice shape for your earth. Look at that. Put your plate to the side, then you're going to grab your cup and you're going to put it in the corner up here for your face. like so. Wonderful. Now we're going to draw in our details. Remember, it's really important to use your pencil first because you can rub your pencil out, but you can't rub a marker out. So I'm going to put a face on my lovely planet Earth. To do that, I'm just going to draw two circles for the eyes up in the top corner, and I'm just going to add some little semicircles in the corner for highlights, and I'm just going to give it a nice little smiley face, just like that. Then we're going to add in our countries. Now this is a cartoon, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but don't forget, we live in Australia. So let's put Australia up in here. Like this, don't forget little Tasmania. And then there's New Zealand. And then maybe let's put Asia and Europe up in here. Kind of looks a little bit like that. And maybe let's get a little bit of South America pointing here in the bottom if we can. Let's pretend Antarctica is down the bottom here. And then let's put a bit of North America over here in the corner. Beautiful. If you don't know where all your countries are, that's totally fine. You could look at a map or you could just draw some shapes and then represent the countries. That's fine too. Now what we're going to do is draw the little selfie in here. Because remember, this is a selfie of you giving the earth a big hug. So what I want you to do is draw a little cartoon of your face in this circle. So you can choose how you want to do it. I'm going to be smiling. I'm just going to give myself two eyes, right here, a little nose, some eyebrows, and a nice big happy smile. And then I'm going to give myself some hair. Now remember my hair is a little bit curly, it's going to come down like this, and I'm going to give myself a neck as well. Don't worry about drawing the arms, we're going to make them later. Wonderful. Now what we're going to do is color in. Here are my colors. Now, don't forget, the ocean is blue, and then our countries and continents, they are going to be green. So don't forget, you can use a whole variety of different colors. If you use different colors, then you're gonna get some nice depth. So I would use two different shades of blue and maybe two different shades of green to get some nice depth, and particularly around the outside. I'll show you what I mean.
trick that I have with colouring in is if you outline your shapes first, it's easier to get in the lines. Now you can see that mine's a little bit messy. That's because I'm using oil pastels and it's really tricky to get perfectly in the lines. That's why we are outlining after we colour in. But the little hint is, even if you're using pencil or texture, go around the outside of the shape first and you'll find that then it's easier to colour in. Trust me. Okay, so I have the whole thing colored in. The next thing I'm going to do is take my marker and be very, very careful, because remember, permanent marker is permanent. So it means if you get it on anything else, you will stain it. Okay, so it's really important that you get mum and dad to double check and that it's okay for you to be using one. Otherwise, you can use a black pencil and it's totally fine. So, check with mum and dad. If they say it's okay, grab a marker and then I want you to outline all of the shapes that you have done. we have a really nice outline now of our earth and we have a nice outline of our little selfie so we can put that aside and start on the arms all right so what you need now is a separate piece of paper and you are going to fold it right in half down the middle like this we are going to make our hands so all you're going to do is where this crease line is you're going to hold your pencil in the middle and you're going to draw two about two or three fingers apart. I'm going to do about two because my fingers are a bit bigger than yours. Then you're just going to draw one, two, three, four, five little hoops to represent your fingers. Then you can either do this yourself or ask mum and dad for help. You just take your scissors and you cut around the line while the paper is still folded. Put your paper aside and then when you open it up you have two hands and to finish them off you just cut along the fold line to separate them awesome now what we need to do is color them in so i'm going to use those oil pastels again i did a red stripey shirt so i'm going to do some red stripes down the shirt i'm just going to draw a line so i know where my shirt finishes and where my hand starts awesome so all i'm going to do is draw some red stripes I'm going to put it on my scrap piece of paper so I don't get my desk dirty, like this. And I'm going to colour in my hand my skin colour. You go with whatever colour your skin is. Go ahead and do the same for your other hand print, then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so now I have my little hands and they match my shirt. What I'm going to do is I am just going to fold down the end just a little bit so I have a little tab like that. This is gonna make it stick out a little bit. And I want it to look like my little cartoon is giving the earth a hug. So just near my body, I'm just gonna put the hand sticking out to the side so it looks like giving the earth a little hug, saying thank you. And all I need to do is take a bit of glue and rub it along this line. And really carefully 
place my handprint. Like that. How cool is that? And the hands stick out. Now, the final thing I want you to do is to write a nice message on the bottom. You could write, um, I love planet Earth, or you could write, take care of the Earth. You could write a nice message. You could say something about how awesome the world is, even during these really hard times that we've been going through. I am going to write a simple message on the bottom. Now, I used a marker straight away, but you might want to use a pencil, get mum and dad to check your spelling, and then use a marker when you're done. I'm even going to add a few little decorations over here. And there we have it. Our picture is completely done. Now remember, you're the artist. It's your creativity, so you can do it however you like. Don't forget you're drawing your own face in here. You can put whatever kind of face you want on the earth. If you want to make the earth cool and colorful, you can do that too. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Well, there you go, you guys. I really am looking forward to seeing how you guys went with your Planet Earth selfies. I can't wait to see them. I'm sure they all look amazing. Maybe this could be something else that you put in your window for people walking past the scene, just like your rainbows from last term, because it's really important to spread this really cool message. Have a really awesome day, you guys, and I look forward to seeing you posting your photos on your class dojo or seesaw pages and seeing your awesome faces in our Zoom call soon. All right. Bye guys.